Welcome to another edition of Smalltalk for you. This morning we're going to go back to testing a little bit and take a look at another tool that's in the system to help you with this. Let's pop up the menu, go to Test Runner right here, and by default it's going to have a whole lot of tests in here. You don't want to run every selected one. That will take a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop up the right menu, do a Select None, and then I'm going to pick the test that I wrote the other day for arithmetic, the cubed method. I'm going to run just that selected one. That's going to tell me it passed. It gives me one run, one passed, and that's pretty cool. I can see right here, green or red, what happened. But I can pick other things too. I can pick this. It's going to be multi-select. So let's go ahead and do a select none. And we'll just select this one guy here. And we'll run the selected. And notice it tells me to run to past. I can also right click and I can browse this and see what's going on with it. And it'll pop me right in there and I can start taking a look at the test to see what's going on. So it's kind of an interesting tool. All the tests you write will be visible in this so long as you've gone ahead and subclassed them from the default test case system, you know, using SUnit. So if you're using that, you get a nice tool that's just built into the system and you can run your test, get the nice green red kind of indication right here and browse the stuff right here if you're not familiar with the testing. So when you load a new package and you want to take a look at what kind of test cases exist for it, you can get that right away. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.